common use of visionary render is to use it for presentations or for running through a training scenario where one user is in a VR headset and other users are watching what they are doing. The usual method to achieve this is to have the output of the headset connected to a large TV screen and the other users watch that screen or to show it during an online video presentation but the users are still looking at what the user sees from inside the headset looking out. If I enable my headset now, we can see one of the problems with this, the movement of the headset user. For the person inside the headset, there isn't an issue. Their movement ties in with the viewpoint and it all seems natural. But for the people outside who are disconnected from the physical movement, it can be an unpleasant experience and the movement of the user seems quite erratic to them. One solution to this has always been available to visionary render users. If you launch two instances, and you can do this on the same PC as I have done, or if you have the licenses, you can open the second on another PC and connect the two instances using collaboration. You can now choose where you have the viewport of the second instance. We can see that I have moved around to the front of the scene here in my second copy of Visionary Render. This gives the viewer or viewers a complete view of the environment and the instructor, just as they would in a classroom. We can see where the instructor is looking and we can see how they gesture with their hands. We can see them pointing their lasers and they can turn them off if necessary. We can see how useful this solution is when I'm going through a PowerPoint or interacting with other items in the environment. With the lasers off, I have to grab things with my hands to move them. I placed a lectern at the front with my notes, easily imported in PDF or Word format. Here I'm using the GUI buttons to show a slice through the gas turbine engine, initiating an animation and then showing the flow of the gas through the engine with our particle system. Again, the viewers can comfortably see me interacting with everything in the scene. They see the whole picture, myself and the objects I interact with. The final thing I'd like to show in the demonstration is a pen. The model I'm using is made up of three basic shapes, but any model can be used to better represent the pen. The functionality is from a couple of Lua scripts. Grabbing the middle section, I can move the pen around in the scene. If I grab the front and move, it begins to write. I can write and draw anywhere. I can annotate items and add to the displays behind me. Finally, if I grab the sphere at the back of my pen, I can erase. Thank you.